Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are playing another University Box video. In the second I started recording, I was actually in the middle of changing the mic setting. Because I'm pretty sure in the last video, my mic audio was just too loud. Okay, there we go. Back to what it was before. Okay, so in today's video, we have two suggestions. And the game is taking a l really long time to load. Maybe the game needs some encouragement. I give it three claps. Oh, apparently that was enough encouragement because it's loaded. Okay, for the first suggestion, hold on. For the first suggestion by user OB7BZ2KK9H, suggestion interview Jupiter's red, great red spot. Okay, fantastic idea. Back to Gas Giants Got Talent or Big Red Spot Got Talent. Okay. Oh, there's the, the giant red spot. Hey, red spot, what you gotta say for us? Um, I'm really big, like, uh, more than the size of Earth. I can fit a whole Earth inside of me. Wow, that's pretty good size. You must have ate a lot of protein, dude. Yeah, I got that protein every day. Okay, but some, some, do you have something else to say to us? I'm a massive storm that spins at like 500 plus kilometers a second, I think. I can't exactly remember what what speed it spins at. And I've been going on for millions of years, or years. Okay, thank you, giant great red fox. Been moving on to the next edition, and thank you, user OB. Storm cloud lightning bolt, storm cloud lightning bolt, storm cloud lightning bolt, storm cloud lightning bolt. Yes, finally a kid YouTuber, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. By Daniel Pro Gamer, suggestion, make a habitable planet by only crashing moon or planets into it. No changing the setting. Laughing emoji. Can I don't know what he's laughing. I'm gu guessing he tried this or something and it's very hard. Okay, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Habitable planet by only crashing moon or planets. I'm going to try to make it orbit a star, but spoiler alert, spoiler alert. This is the collisions might push it off to the side because of like the momentum of the collisions and stuff. Hey, it doesn't hurt to try. Okay, orbiting in the habitable range. Looks like a desert. Okay, if I turn on the flashlight, then the color of the like ground change. And by the way, we're going to have the snow on this planet is going to ah right. I can't change any of the setting. I'm just going to turn on the vegetation and city lights. So if it is habitable, we can see the city lights, okay? Now we just need to crash a bunch of more bunch of more <laughs> bunch of more. I said a bunch of more. We need to crash a bunch of more planets into this thing. Or moon. There we go what in the world? <laughs> Maybe some of these giant fragments will, um, like, stay in orbit. Or just clump together, all clump together, and form a moon. <gasps> One of the moons I threw at it survived. It's probably going to orbit the star, because it's just going way too fast to orbit the planet. And it's going backwards, by the way. No, never mind. Wait, yes it is. It's hard to tell these days. Boom! Whoop. Wait, no, we destroyed the planet. Okay, now we're going to, I mean, yeah, we're going to, we were throwing moons into this thing just now, but we're going to throw planets into it. Boom! Wait, this one, this planet that I spawned in was habitable. Before it crashed into the moon we were, like, creating and just made, and just began its fiery demise! I wanted to, I wanted that to sound really epic. <laughs> okay, oh, is that a gas giant? I think we've created a pretty good planet. It's like the size of Earth. Now, we're just going to give this some time. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, flying into the star? Okay, we're just going to do auto orbit. Because we don't want that to happen. That's very bad. Very bad. Okay, where's the habitable zone for this thing? Uh. Oh, come on, game. Give me a break here. Okay, let's just say, um, some magical force just moved it into its habitable range for some unknown reason. So, uh, I bet, sorry, if there were ever people living on this planet, I bet the scientists would be like, sorry, the people would be like, scientists just discovered that the planet has mysteriously been moved by two buckets of full ice cream or something like that. 
I'm sure of it. I'm sure they would say something. Okay, now let's do auto orbit again. Okay. Now it's going to cool down eventually. Going to clear the fragment so I can run this fast. Whoa! <gasps> what happened? Like a giant explosion. Do you see this? There's tons of fragments. Asteroid flying by the star. Universe saved life. Let me tell you, these uh, the update with these larger fragments breaking off and actually, like, um, making... Or thing like orbiting stuff is so cool and not disappearing is insane like oh i just wanted to get that message out there convert to full body i think that'll oh made it a teeny bit bigger i thought it would just make it round because for some reason it was in a weird shape now that let's just say that formed into a dwarf planet and let's actually make it orbit is it gonna be elliptical it's gonna be vertical oh yeah vertical orbit in the house boy okay that's fun. I like that. Oh, I just rem I just realized our planet is named Carmel, and I'm not going to clear the fragments because maybe they'll form like an asteroid belt or something, or they can just fly off into deep deep space and never come. Well, our planet is named Carmel, and it does not look a like a caramel, whatever caramel looks like. I don't know what a caramel looks like because I've never heard that word in my life, caramel. I've heard caramel, but not caramel. Can't go fast. Universe Sandbox, why do you... <gasps> it has water! It has water! I didn't even change any of the settings. Oh, yeah, it has water. Let's go! I'm actually shocked that it has water. Maybe the stuff that hit collided with it. Oh, yeah, like a th planet... Before, like, in the past, in the video, we threw it... I threw... I threw a planet into it. And for a glimpse second, I saw water on it. I didn't see water, but I saw an atmosphere. So that normally means it also has water, too. So I knew, like, something collided with this thing that had water. So that was good. I didn't think it would stay on the planet, though. Welcome to the world, soon-to-be habitable caramel. It just sounds so weird saying caramel. What does caramel mean? Okay. Oh, it's kind of still like, oh, the atmosphere is just, the atmosphere looks like dune stuff, but it's fine. We're going to say natural causes an asteroid hit it, and I need something that will really push the water back, like a big shockwave. So it like reveals some land, you know? If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see in a few seconds. Kaboom! This is not actually an asteroid. I'm pretty sure it's like a door planet or something. Maybe an asteroid, I think. Just a large asteroid orbiting in our solar system. Just why not? I want to throw Pluto in it so bad, but that's probably going to mess it up. Homea! Throw home Oh, oh, I hope this isn't bad. Oh! <gasps> I'm speeding up time, but you guys actually can't tell because it's locked to the surface. That, oh, that burned fire shape looks like North America. That's cool. Okay. Pluto, you're gonna, you're gonna collide with this thing. Pluto! Oh, gosh. Turn on trails. Wait, wait. Guys, what happened? What happened? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just teeny bit confused add labels add add to my hotbar game add it to my hotbar pretty please okay fine the game is just oh never mind it added it okay oh great i deleted the star okay i'm sorry daniel programmer this will not take that much lo more like longer we're just going to start over and ooh, can we play Please create the star realistic. Nope, that's not a button. Daniel Pro Gamer did not tell me to do that, so I will not to do it. Okay. And if you wanted me guys to realistically create a star, you can comment your own suggestion down below in the comment section. Okay, time to just put a star down. Regular regularly. Regularly. Okay. The add tool goes there. There, boom, boom, okay, okay, star, Esther, the star's named Esther, it's probably not actually pronounced that, but once again, this is a word I've never seen in my life, so it's, it's gonna be hard to pronounce at first glance.
We're gonna do random moon. And by the way, by the way, guys, there's a chance. There is a chance that it will already have water on it. Okay, I was gonna say it's a very slim chance, and yeah, it's a very slim chance because it's not. It didn't happen. It didn't. Okay, let me turn the visuals on. Okay, Liska, Liskai, Lis. Forget it. I'm gonna name this planet Bob. No, actually, what? The person who made the suggestion, your name is now on this planet, or your username. There we go. Uh. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Daniel Programmer. Okay, that's the name of the planet. Okay, Daniel Programmer. Oh. Brace, your, brace yourself for impact, because you're going to get impacted. Cut. Don't tell me this is orbit. <gasps> ah, it was so close to, close to the planet that, that it's in its roach limit. That it's immense gravitational forces. It's breaking the planet to shreds. Nice. Okay, this is a big moon that's about to hit it. Brace for yourself, Daniel Programmer. Yeah! Wait! Oh, I'm glad that didn't hit him. Oh! 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 oh. I think we destroyed the planet. Dwarf planet. Now it's a dwarf planet? We're going to change that. Whoop! Boom! There we go. And... Oh, look at this. This big piece of debris is about to hit that thing. Kaboom. Okay, that was anticlimactic. But, my, wow, it's got flying into... Wait, wait, it's going to fly into the star? It's probably because... Oh, I threw stuff at it, and it's messing up its orbit and stuff. And stuff. Okay. Oop, just give it a little scrape. Huh? Ah! Okay, so we're going to let this sit for a while, and we'll come back to the... I'm kidding, we're going to just speed up time, because we can do that. Okay. And yes, I did pick a different planet, because it had water. I saw it had water. But that's sort of normal universe inbox, or yeah, it is normal universe inbox, but I can't change the settings. I would normally just, um, like, you know, change the atmosphere and stuff. Hey, planet, composition... 0% life likelihood. Okay, perfect. I know what to throw at it. Throw Ganymede into it. Okay. Oh, I heard that explosion. Okay. And kaboom. Ah, there we go. Uh-oh. Okay, it has life likelihood. That's habitable. Woohoo! Okay. On to the next suggestion. Do we have another storm cloud lightning bolt first again? Okay. Well, okay, that's all the suggestions we have for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. But eat some pieces of bread, and I was going to say eat two birds, but you shouldn't eat birds. Don't eat birds, kids. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.